Are you ready to level up your retro gaming experience? Well, we're continuing our ultimate guide to Super Nintendo emulation by diving into the world of cheats for SNES 9X, the Super Nintendo emulator. From infinite lives to secret unlocks in your favorite classics, there's a couple of ways in which you can do it. And today I'm gonna to show you how. Cheats were available on the original Super Nintendo system, but they're also available on this emulator. To get them, you're first going to need a game running. In this example, we're going to use American Gladiators. Go to the top menu and then select Apply Cheats. This will activate any cheats that you've got loaded into the system. At the moment, we haven't got any, so let's put some in. The simplest way to find cheats for SNES 9X is to load it up, go to the top menu and then select Cheat. From there, select Game Genie Pro Action Replay Codes, or you can press Alt and G. When we get the Cheat Entry and Editor window to pop up, just press Search Database. Any cheats within the database will appear in the window and all you have to do is tick them to make them active. Another way you can add cheats is by manually inputting them into the system. Again, go to the top menu and select Cheat. Then select Game Genie Pro Action Replay Codes. At this point, you can find additional codes from various websites, but the one I'm going to use is gamehacking.org. Once you're on the site, search for the game that you're looking for. If it's on multiple platforms, click through to the platform you're playing on. For this example, that would be Super Nintendo. For this particular game, I can see that there's five cheats, but I know from the previous method of the auto search, it only gave me three. So there might be some here that I can manually enter. Once you click through, find the cheat that you want, move along to the right hand side and copy its code. Then go back into the emulator and paste this into the enter cheats code box. At that point, you can come down and enter a cheat description, which basically tells you what the cheat code does. When you're ready, just press add. Again, ticking the box to the left to make them active. You can also download cheat packages from gamehacking.org if you find that easier. To do this, again, search for the game you wish to find the cheats of. Once you've found it, go to this box and select either select all, and this will download all of the cheats, or checked, meaning you can manually select which ones you want to download within your own cheats package. I want to have all of them selected for the sake of this tutorial. The format I'm going to change in the drop down to SNES 9X 1.57 and I'm also going to make sure that I'm downloading them as .cht files. Once you're happy, just press download. You may be able to download these straight into the SNES 9X cheats folder. If not, don't worry, you can drag and drop it into there later. Using this method, what you also need to do is find the game file for the cheats you wish to use. Copy the game's name exactly. Then go to the cheat file that you've just downloaded and paste the name that you've just copied. Now, when you load the game up and go to Game Genie Pro Action Replay within the cheats menu, all of the cheats that you've just downloaded should show up. You can also make your own cheats from scratch if you know how to manipulate the game's code. To do this, Again, go to the top menu and select Cheat. What we then want to do though is search for new cheats. Now there's various things that you can do here, but just as an example, I'm going to create a score modifier. To do this, I'm gonna select equal to, entered value, and then signed. In the enter a value box, I'm going to type in my opponent's current score and then press search. Now I'm gonna go back to the game and I'm going to let my opponent score some more points. Once that's done, go back into the cheat search and now back to enter a value. What you want to do here is enter what your opponent's new current score is and then press search. We can see from the results of the previous value and the current value, they were both the opponent's scores. So we know that this address correlates to that part of the game. Now press add cheat and enter the value that you want into the box and the description as well so you know what the cheat does. Then press OK in the cheat search box to apply it. If the cheat has worked, it will change the values once the game is unpaused. You can edit any of the cheats in the entry and editor window simply by clicking on the cheat and changing the code. For example, if it is a score modifier, 
in the example shown on American Gladiators, we have zero points after game one. I'll go into the cheat menu and into the score mod and change the value of the last two digits to 40. I'm then gonna come up here and press update. I know the cheat's already active, so I'm gonna press okay to close the window, unpause the game, and my score has gone from zero to 40. You can also do this with lives, health, and a bunch of other things depending on what cheats you've downloaded. Let's say a cheat isn't working. You can remove it from the system. To remove a single cheat, just click on it and then press the delete button. Or if you want to remove all of the cheats in one go, just press remove all instead. So that's all the ways that you can download and use cheats in your games using SNES 9X, the Super Nintendo emulator. If you've got any questions, drop them below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. And if you'd like to see more tutorials and the ultimate guide to SNES 9X, check out the playlist in the video description and in the pinned comment.